So the Dallas Cowboys are in hot water after announcing a new partnership with a gun themed company. Now the Cowboys posted a promotional video for the collab with Black Rifle Coffee just one day after the Highland Park shooting. Now there's a lot of backlash over the company's product names including the AK-47 espresso blend, the coffee or die blend and the murdered out coffee roast. So it is a veteran owned company and they tell the Associated Press that the announcement was long planned to coincide with Independence Day. The Cowboys have declined to comment as of now. We always want to hear from our viewers. In fact, you guys are already writing in. So go to DBL Nation. We want to know what you think of this partnership. Is it a good idea or a bad idea in your opinion? Go to DBLVote.com on our app to weigh in. What do you think, Lindsay? I understand it was long planned, but you know, as America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, I think you should probably postpone the announcement knowing that the temperature, especially because you're in Texas, the latest, one of the latest shootings that were all over the news headlines was in Uvalde, Texas. So, you know, just the timing isn't appropriate. And I, and this company has a lot of positives about it. You know, it helps veterans get from military to entrepreneurship, which is important. And I think that if anybody understands rifles, it would be people who are former military or currently military. So I get that their alignment has something to do with their experiences. But I just think it's poor timing, especially for America's team and the state we're in. Why don't you think about what relationships that you want to share right now as we enter maybe a football season. I don't know that much about sports. <laughs> yeah. Is it coming up? I do, okay. Is it coming up soon? Just do ESPN Sports Center. I just would like, love to I do that. Football's coming up. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe this, maybe this, this is baseball. Is it this month? Yeah, we got uh, a preseason or something's I, I coming up. I appreciate you bringing some levity to this because we, we need this because this is the kind of story I love, right? I argue with myself in the morning about which side I'm on and I, I look at both sides because I feel like they are filling a gap in the market for as much as everybody's like, oh, you know, it's guns and yeah, a lot of the parts of this country identify with guns you know it is in their families it's in the quilt of their family like that that's how they identify so buying a coffee that's pro uh, guns pro second amendment pro military is something that they want to spend their money on and that's god bless them for that have at that whether you want to uh, d debut that uh, this week is questionable and i think we can tell because the dallas cowboys refused to issue a statement on their coffee company merger which is a very strange thing to do so when we look at this thing we have capitalism i get the fact that they want to sell these uh, coffees but then they cannot disavow all the things that go down because when january 6th went down and a lot of their merch was on people they disavowed that but then the people that buy, buy black rifle coffee jeff were saying hey we support you you don't disavow it just because some shootings going down some insurrections going down so they're also f uh, facing turmoil from both sides so well, it's an company, interesting place that they put themselves i agree with both of you the company's a, a really great company as as what they do for giving back to veterans with ptsd yes. and that needs to be done so i applaud them for that i to agree that the timing was off. What do you think, Jeff? Yeah, there's a lot into this. We're running out of time, which we had more time, but it seems like the audience is thinking it's a bad idea. I don't think they know about this company. I think they see Kyle Rittenhouse wearing a Black Rifle Coffee t-shirt in one of his interviews. There it is right there. That's not a good look for the company. They said they have nothing to do with like white supremacist, anything like that. His last name's Jewish. The guy worked very hard. He's a veteran. Um, Joe Rogan is also a friend of his, which I think turned a lot of people off. But the guy does a lot for veterans. That's he gives bad. back to nonprofits. He even took took Afghanis that were commanders over with us. People don't even know Afghanistan fought with us in the war. So a lot of people don't know the backstory to a lot of things. He brought them over to work for this company. So what he's doing for the company, right. he's doing a lot of good for veterans and it's all veteran owned and his, a lot of his proceeds go to nonprofits. And could he do something better with the names Murdered Out Coffee? I know it means black on black on black. It's a term. Right. Maybe ease up on the names a little bit, but there is liquid death water, it, which is very popular. And I drink that. Yeah. And, right. But and it's I like, drink it because it's a great marketing thing. So you're right, yeah. Right, but if 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 someone, if a white supremacist was drinking liquid death water, wouldn't be a good look for their company. Right, right. Good point. You know what I'm saying? So he said he's separating that. He doesn't want people buying their guns and things like that, but he does do a lot of good. And when it is a good time to come out with a company like this, there's a shooting every other day. There's been 300. There hasn't been 300 days this year. Right. When is a good I time to come right. out? Yeah. You know, with, with, with well, this Well, thank you for providing that nuance, Jeff. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't do the digging. No, they so don't, and, the, and it shows in the numbers right well, there. Well, maybe you know? it'll change their mind as we go to break. 77% of you, to Jeff's point, say it's a bad idea.